Got a tough test this week going on the road to Southern Mississippi. Um, our guys are familiar with this place. We went down there last year. Um, you know, Coach Hobson, those guys got a really, really old football team. Um, everything kind of starts for them with uh, their running back, Edo Smith. I just, I really think he may be the best running back in our league. He's in that exclusive club of 4,000 yards rushing, 1,000 yards receiving. He can, he can just do everything for him. Uh, he's a really good player. They're pretty old at wide receiver. I uh, got a lot of big playmakers out there, so they'll present some challenges for us uh, in the secondary. Uh, and then their offensive line is r really big. Once again, we're playing a big physical offensive line, so we have to play well up front defensively, you know, try to contain their offense. Uh, I think the challenge offensively is going to be, you know, they're old up front, like all across the board defense. They're very active, but it'll be pretty similar defense to what we just faced in middle. Um, they're going to bring them from a little everywhere. Uh, got some big guys on the interior, um, so it's going to be critical for us to try to establish the run game, but we're going to have to be able to push the ball down the field, try to get some big plays. Uh, once again, try to be creative in how we run the ball, but uh, I think the number one thing about this team is you know, they've played a tough schedule. Two of their losses are to SEC teams. Um, they played in a bowl game last year. Coach Hop's got them going in a really good direction right now, so uh, to go on the road, this is we know what kind of place we're going to. Uh, we're going to have to really play a, an error-free game, uh, penalty-free, which we challenged our team um, right after the game on Saturday about the penalties and how they impact the game and made a good change at the half and felt like the guys came out really focused second half, uh, eliminated some of those penalties and, and got us back in the game last Saturday. We're going to have to play the whole game that way uh, this week at Southern Miss. Yeah, I think, I think our guys will have confidence going on the road, uh, you know, I mean, that, we've been there. Um, you know, we're going to have to run the ball. We ran the ball down there really well last year, and I think that's going to be the, the critical thing. And then not giving up big plays. These guys hit big plays. You see them hit big plays against Tennessee and Kentucky. I mean, they have the, they have the ability. So we're going to have to limit that. I felt like that was one of the things that hurt us against middle. We gave up the two, two – we had really three big plays in there that, that hurt us, and we didn't do as well against the run game. So – there's the same challenges this week, but but yeah, our guys, it won't be new to them. Uh, Southern Miss uh, on the road, but uh, the team we're playing is pretty good. Uh, yes, sir. I mean, this this team is a confidence team. So like going down there, going down to a place that we have won at before. As um, long as we stay together, I mean, I feel like it can be the same same outcome. Um, we just try to try to continue to let the team know that we're brothers. This is a family. <laughs> And no one, we don't want not one person to think that, okay, if I make this decision, if I make this mistake, then this is what causes the loss. It's, it's never, that's never the answer because we always have one another's back. And just like um, a couple games ago, um, Hassan Klu came into the locker room and said, I'm glad y'all boys had my back because I had a bad game. And we was like, you didn't let us down. We, we got you. We, and that's all we try to continue to do is encourage one another and just, let each other know that it's a brotherhood and it's, it can never be broken. Yeah, kind of like you said, you know, just want to encourage each other, just keeping a positive attitude in the locker room, like no matter like what the scoreboard is, just just keep working hard. And that's what, you know, the coaches have instilled at us at practice as well, just like just come out every day and work hard. And so I think like the main thing is just keeping a positive attitude and just like you said, just keeping the, keeping the brotherhood together in the locker room. Uh, it meant a lot. Uh, coach telling me, you know, it was one of, the, one of the best days of my life. But, you know, coming in here, you know, I just wanted to, be one of those guys that just worked hard, hard as I could, you know, just giving all the glory to God and just, you know, working as hard as I can because it's bigger than me. You know, I want to be able to provide for my family. You want to um, <clears throat> also, you know, I want my mom not, not to have to pay for my school as well. So just coming here, uh, working as hard as I can, just putting the team in the best position to win. Well, you know, you guys uh, have the opportunity to come in and, and uh, like Alex at Carrington, uh, Terrence, they're guys that, that come in and they, they're hungry. Uh, they've got something to prove. The, the best thing about Alex and Carrington, these guys, is that's not their end goal. You know, the scholarship wasn't their end goal. They, they want to they excel on the field, and that's what put them in the position they're in. And that's, you know, Alex started last year against San Antonio and played well, came back, had a great off season, um, had a good spring for us. Uh, Keeps his nose to the grindstone, does everything. He's he's everything you want in a student athlete, and you know so he he's earned everything he's gotten, and he continues to do that. Uh, his role's really stepped up. He's really 
might be even leading us in quarterback hurries. He's really done a nice job. The thing I think he's really improved on throughout camp and this fall is his pass rush ability. He's really given us a nice, uh, you know, pass rusher off the edge and has really put a lot of pressure on quarterbacks and he's hitting guys a lot. So, um, but he's out there working extra. He's, you know, doing all those things. And we've had a number of those guys, you know, Tommy Doctor's kind of in that same boat, walked on here, uh, earned a starting spot and, you know, is excelling for us now. And so um, if guys come in and, you know, they're, they're work hard and they're, you know, contributing, you know, we're more than happy to, those are, as I told Alex, in my office, you know, those are those are really fun days for me. You know, I'm not really a a YouTube guy and put it out there. That that's those are fun days for me when I can call a guy in the office and and you know put him on scholarship and you know just kind of that moment's a lot of fun for me personally and to know guys work extremely hard to do that. We've got a lot of guys that work hard, but everybody can't get a scholarship. But you know, Alex has uh, really done a nice job for us. Yeah, our, our guys are really coming together nice offensive line-wise. Uh, they've, they've gotten some continuity there. And, um, you know, a guy like Jalen Allen's kind of working himself in that rotation. Um, you know, we've got an older guy in Wolfgang who works in that rotation. Um, but Chris Brown being back, uh, Cam Clark's playing at a high level. Nate Davis might have played his best game of the year uh, last week. So um, those guys are really – gelled together. Coach Ad's doing a good job with them. Um, and we're facing some really good defensive fronts every week. I mean, that's the, that's the challenge when you, when you make this move to Conference USA and you move to Division I. The challenge is blocking defensive fronts. Uh, this group we're getting ready to play, they're, they all got big guys that, you know, can move, and that's the challenge. So our guys have, you know, they've stayed relatively healthy, got a little continuity now. So they're going to have to play great up front for us to be successful. Yeah, you know, we it's kind of funny because we go three and out twice Saturday. We score on our first drive, so you think you've kind of fixed that problem, and then you kind of hit that lull in there. And and um, I think I think the biggest thing you always have to remember is a guy like Brent Stockstill is, you know, a couple of those throws he made, they're they're big league throws, and he's going to make some plays. So to think that. You know we're gonna you know stymie a team like that every snap. You know go three and out every every series is not realistic. Uh, so I thought our guys came out and played with a high intensity level early in the game. Uh, we just couldn't get anything. You know we kind of hit that low offensively. Then we give up a couple big plays, um, and then you throw in some penalties that I didn't think were real. You know we we can't make. Um, and all of a sudden you you kind of in the middle of a mess. And so we had to readjust. You know we had to reset things at the half and say hey look. We can't shoot ourselves in the foot, uh, and I think that was the biggest thing at the half. We come out and and we took care of a little bit better business of our, ourselves. Uh, but we're playing against good people, so you know they're going to make plays, and and you know our guys have practiced well. They're preparing hard, and I think we came out and played pretty good in those first three or four drives. Um, we just got to try to maintain it and keep pushing through, push the thing to the fourth quarter, and have a chance to win. Which you know I went back after the game. You know the when I went forward on. With I think it was 12 minutes left in the game, you know, probably should have punted there. You know, looking back, I was I wish I would have punted there. We probably would have got it two more times. We were down two scores. You know, we go for it, throw the pick. Now they got it on the plus side. That kind of kind of shot us right there. So that's one decision that I like probably would have punted there. You know, for the you know because we got to give ourselves a chance there in the fourth quarter to try to win. It was a two score game and. And we got across the field, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go here, see if we can get this thing and get the points now. And, and uh, you know, looking back, probably should have punted it. Yeah, it's a tough thing. Yeah, that's a tough thing. It's a, it's a hard thing. You got to keep encouraging guys because it's not like we don't have the ability to do it. Uh, but we'll let Kyle kick this week. Kyle Corbett made that change during the game. Uh, we'll let him kick this week. Uh, we'll let him compete for the kickoff job um, and let, you know, Let's see what Kyle can do out there, see if he can, you know, settle in and, and maybe, you know, have some success kicking because, you know, it is a confidence thing right now and there's no use going crazy on guys. They're not trying to miss it. So we've got to try to try to keep that confidence in the guys, keep coaching them and try to help them because it is a is a problem. You know, you need to make some field goals and, and put points on the board and keep things moving because that's that can be frustrating.